<laughs> Hello friends. Oh, I always hate that first part. <laughs> if you guys watch my videos, you'll see me every single time say, oh, I hate that first part. But welcome, hello, hello. It's so nice to see you all coming in and uh, joining me at Tammy Loves Vintage. My name is Tammy Neff, and I just finished putting up my Christmas tree. Uh, well, one of them anyway. And it's right here beside of me. And there were so many handmade treasures. I thought my friends would probably love to see them. So I decided to do a quick live and just really zero in on each of these um, ornaments that I made. Um, I'm going to show you everything on the tree, but at least a lot of the ornaments that I made to inspire you guys. I know every year I show my tree and, and all of the things that I've added on. And this year will be no exception to the rule. We have been quite busy uh, over in my private group. Um, it's called Tammy's Making. You can find it on my website at TammyLovesVintage.com. And um, it's $15 a month. And I'm telling you, this month is just jam-packed full of really unique things that I have never seen anywhere before. Uh, my friend Julie did a guest appearance and made some homespun um, Santa ornaments. And <laughs> wait till you see the pictures of them. You're going to be like, how did you do that? And I'm going to tell you, you got to get in the group. And it is a great month to be in for sure. Always this time of year is... Um, always something to see. So anyway, I'll show you a little snippet. I worked on some things last night to get ready to make some more things. Hi, you guys. Um, that, well, I can show you really, I'll show you really quick here. Um, let's see, how can I do that? So like, well, this is not very interesting, but we were uh, learning how to um, dye uh, uh, fat batting um, to make our vintage uh, cotton uh, spun ornaments and then we learned how to age tinsel so to take new tinsel and make it look like the crusty old tinsel that is so expensive i mean some places a piece this big right here would could be twenty dollars easily if it were really old so we're learning how to grunge out and make our own uh, antique looking tinsel and then last night uh, I went live and showed how to, I'm going to fluff it up here a little bit. I haven't finished it, so I'm not done, but we made feather trees. And um, I tell you all of the supplies that you need. Uh, my friend Julie figured out how to do it, and she's like, I have to show you. You're going to want to make one, and she's right. I did, and I still have to finish the top and decide if I want to add any more before I cut it down. But these trees are amazing, and it is made out of real feathers. And um, I, it's, it, it's amazing how you do it. I made this whole tree last night in one night. So um, again, you gotta be in my group to see how to do it. Uh, hi, Mary Lou, yes, I'm live. And if you ever need to know if I'm going live, if you are in my group and aren't getting notifications, you have got to text me at 740-273-6693 and I'll let you know. I know I've told you over there, um, but I know there's several that still aren't in there. And then for you, if you ever wanna know when I'm going live here on my page, you can text me at the same number, 740-273-6693. So let's flip you around here. I want you to see some of these ornaments. A lot of these things we made in our group, some of it we have brought to you um, live on our page. You can search YouTube. It's Tammy Loves Vintage um, on YouTube. And then you would type in angel. And we made this angel. We've made these several times. So you may get more than one. Uh, but we can show you how to make the angel over on YouTube. Um, the, the hats. Um, I've got the one large one here. I think I've got about six of the larger ones. Um, we made these years and years ago, but I still absolutely love the hat. Um, that is my tree topper. And then just some basic old um, uh, paper mache ornaments that you can find. There's several and we'll come, as we come across them, I will show them to you, but we did those years ago too. Um, and then my Santas, my paper mache Santas. Again, another thing to type in on YouTube. There are tons of Santas tucked into this tree. There is my popcorn garland right here. I showed you how to do that in my group as well as, um, as well as, uh, huh. 
uh, he, here. I believe we've done that in both areas. I have tons of little tiny hats that I have done over the years. There's another. I take pieces of, um, uh, I cut up a <laughs> measuring, a uh, yardstick, yardstick, that's the word, and then I tie on a key or whatever. I have lots of pieces. You buy one yardstick and you can get a ton of ornaments. We made this little baby Jesus in, um, in our group. I have a couple of these on this tree. We made the lids, um, the zinc lids. Uh, let me see here, more hats. Here is an old clock, an old pocket watch that I filled with um, goodies because the face was gone. And so it was just like the guts of it. Um, this one I did not make, but I bought it made out of paper. Um, and I think it's really cool. So I bought that. There is a crown. Um, these are the these are the English old porcelain uh, toilet puller knobs for open and close. I've got a couple of those on here and I just turned it into a tassel. So there's that. Uh, let me see here. I bought this one, but I just, I just liked him. So I bought him and see he's on the back of the tree. There's another Santa that I made. I mean this whole, oh, here's my other little uh, baby Jesus right here in the manger, you know, in his little bed. We made those in the group. Um, another Santa, of course I have lots of old spindles hanging on here. Um, here's another paper mache um, ornament that we did. We made the tree skirt together in the group. Um, let me see here. Uh, well, here's just more pieces of the, um, of the, Yardstick, why can't I think of the word? More popcorn garland, that was super fun. I might have to make some more of those. Oh, there's some more yardstick right there. Here's some more yardstick back here, right here. Uh, let me see, we did these. Um, well, we had like a kit and then I had a few that I just made for a bazaar that I did. So I kept one for my tree. I always like to try and remember what I make. Let me see here. Oh, there's my pickle. Everybody has to have a pickle on their tree. Um, it's supposed to be a fun thing for the kids to find, so I've always had a pickle. <laughs> Here's a baby shoe one of my followers made and sent me. Well, I strung some popcorn in front of it, and I need to fix that. But she put it, filled it with a little Christmas tree. It was Patricia Clayton. Um, I remember that. She did a baby shoe and put a tree in it, and I just set it right on the branch. I, don't, I didn't hang it. I just set it there. There's another tree. Um, here is a, this is for a, it's upside down. Okay, it goes like this and it puts the oar in a boat. It's a it's an oar lock. And then I added this little blingy um, piece of uh, jewelry or something that I had found just loosely hanging. I don't know if it was off of a lamp or what. But and then I just tied it with our seam binding. Here is a little spool of thread and I just added some buttons to it. Here is a uh, it could be a top or I think it is a top. It's not a plumb bob. This is a top, um, the little wooden top. We made these years and years ago, probably three or four years ago. Um, and here is an old spool that we decorated the tree on top. Uh, let me see. Here's just another, um, spindle. Uh, you've got some antique bells on here. And I have a black glittered key uh, that's not old, but I liked it. Here's one of our tins that I made, and it was all neutral colors, so I just set it. It's not a hanging thing. I just set it right in on right in on on a branch, just like that, and it stays right there. Um, let's see here. Let's keep going. And I love the little mouse. So I had to get the mouse. Here's another one that we made. Um, it's just a, a wooden. Um, backing and then I added vintage things to it. Oh, Sharon, that's so sweet. It's awesome the things that you guys have. I'm just kind of working my way around. I'm sure there'll be things that I that I find. Here's some mercury glass bulbs, little miniature bulbs. A friend of mine makes has sheep and she does the the wool and this was one of her Santas. She follows us here. I don't know if she'll see that or not. There's a few things on here from her. Um, and then another uh, door, this is like a where the lock would be on a door. You can see it would like the doorknob would go here. So that's that. Um, another, did I show you these? I've got some long spindles here. 
Um, here's another tree on a spool. I know I'm going a little fast, but you guys can replay. I made these tag ornaments just with paper mache. I made this big paper mache thing years ago, added an old clock face to it. I did a, I did a class with Tracy's Fancy a long, long time ago. And, um, anyway, that we, we did all of this stuff in there. Um, not all of it, but I mean the paper mache stuff. Um, and that's, that was the first of all of my, my striping and stuff like that until, uh, all Debbie Rigg came along and started doing, doing it again and reminding me about it. Um, okay, here is another, uh, toilet <laughs> flusher. I think that's so cool, but these are from England. These are like dug up out of the trash and it was in perfect condition. Um, here's a little teeny tiny spool that I added just in paper mache pages and a little tree to it and some vintage jewel, a little vintage gem and a little um another little pocket watch that I added a clock face to and tied a key on I kind of like this side better um what else let's see I had that oh here here's a little door another little door um where the doorknob would go in and it was just so pretty so I kind of turned it into a I added a little tassel thing there at the bottom. Lots and lots of little hats. I've got tons of these little hats. Um, there's so many hats on here. Uh, you can see the hats. Lots and lots of hats. And I think that here's more hats and more hats. We've made hats and sold hats over the years. Um, but there's another little paper mache just for an idea. And I think I have some more of those to make actually. Um, lots of things to make and do. And I feel like I need some more popcorn on here. You can see it. There's a strip of it there, but I feel like I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more popcorn. There's, <laughs> there's the, my mess, my paperwork mess and my shipping mess is here. <laughs> So I still have, um, what, three orders. There's three orders here to be um, taken care of, and then we can do another sale. But anyway, when you stand back, that is my little tree in my office, and it's just mine for my enjoyment. I just have it right there by my desk where I can, I can sit and look at it, and um, it's at the front of the house. So anyway, I hope you guys, I hope you guys liked it. A lot of these videos you can find on YouTube. If you go to Tammy Loves Vintage and um, type in, you know, whatever project, whether it's the, oh, here's another one from Cheryl. So cute. Love these. Here's another little snowman from her or a Santa Claus. I mean, from her, I was looking at the snowman anyway, so much. Oh, and like these things, these things were super fun. Let me see if I can just pull this out of here without too much disaster. Um, these were fun and we made these with Tracy, um, Bellion at Tracy's Fancy. When, when we did the tree skirt, I, she did like a Christmas thing and I joined in. This was a long, long time ago. Um, oh shoot, I can't get it out of there. It's caught on that snowball, I think. Anyway, that there should be maybe one more ball holding me up. Oh no, it's caught on the, oh, hang on a minute. Well, oh, shoot, I really want you to see it. <laughs> I can't get it out. Anyway, this is how long it is. It's about maybe 12 inches long, okay? And what I do is I just, this is just um, dental floss and a regular black pom-pom. And then I couldn't find any vintage looking pom-poms. So I tea stained them like I do my seam binding and all of the stuff that I teach you guys. And so there's little swoops of this just tucked in all around my tree to give that little pop of vintage beige and black okay so let me see and it's subtle like here's one tucked in right here okay and it's just that little piece and i just i just literally tuck it in here and there there's there's that one that we just did they're all over this tree there's probably 12 of them on this tree here's one down low um right here I just I just kind of work them in and it just it all works somehow it all works and it's mostly neutral but there is just that little pop of red every now and again because that I always just do the traditional um red and black oh look I have a doorknob too here's my little doorknob um I tied a tassel onto the doorknob I just thought it was little and cute so it became a Christmas ornament. So, it, oh, 
Okay. You either love it or you think I'm crazy, right? Which is it? <laughs> Which is it, guys? You love it or do you think I'm wacko and lost my mind? <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, I got to give you another plug. I got to give you another heads up. Just in case you guys are like, you're really liking that stuff. All of the videos are in my group. Every video I've ever made since 2019 is in my private group. It is only $15 a month. I do a giveaway every month that is from $30 to $50 um, in uh, vintage things and crafty things. And it is, uh, you get a 15% off of my website code. And uh, so I'm trying to think of what all you get, plus all of the videos since I ever started. But this month alone, we made these hand, um, Cotton, cotton spun, spun, cotton spun vintage Santas that are unreal. And I'll be showing you guys. I just have to make some more. We made one uh, on Tuesday night. Julie came and guest hosted with me, my friend Julie, and um, we made one. And then she had already made several. And she's like, I found this thing. You're going to flip and love it. I want to do it in your group. I want to show your friends. They were all crazy for it. And it was very doable. And I cannot wait to show you guys. I just wanted to wait till I had a few more for myself and not all hers. So um, I'm headed over there now to do some crafting. And so you're going to love, I promise, I promise, and I promise you can do it. I made this tree last night. It's a feather tree. I have to put my top on yet. And I need to cut it and put my base on, which we're going to do in the group um, later here today. We, I taught them how to do tinsel, how to make it look old and grungy. And it's still sparkly and glittery, but it's very expensive tinsel when you buy it for real. And then we learned how to make these. These are for our cotton um, spun Santas. And so I made some red for his coats um, and some black and then we also for his boots and then we also will use just the natural color um, too that's the one that I made but I want to make some red ones and I give you like links where to find everything or lists where we got it and um, yeah it's a great group to be in and I you know I just can't tell you enough it's only $15 you can get in and get out uh, we're considering maybe putting each video in the uh, sorry, I just got a phone call. Considering putting each uh, video from the group maybe um, and market each video individually for 15 a piece or 10 a piece or something like that. But tag on, wouldn't you just get in and just get all of them for the same thing? And the thing is, I think the price is going to go up. Um, I think the price is going to go up. You still get all of your perks, but you might want to get in before the end of the year. I've never shut it down. It's been since 2019. I've never raised the price, but I think it's I think it's time. I think we're getting some really good stuff that um, I think it's time. So anyway, I, if it's too low, people might think, oh, that it must not be that great because it's too low. But I've always kept it low so that you could afford this one and another one, you know. So I think if I raise it, I don't want to raise it a lot, maybe just to 20 a month. And then the next step would be to 25, you know, event, you know, little by little, but I don't know that I would go much over that. I think most groups that I have, you know, watched or whatever, I'm in, I'm in three of them right now and they're all 25 a month. I'm just 15 and I feel like I'm not giving myself enough credit for some of the really unique and awesome things in there. So I've been battling with myself. <laughs> over it so uh, yeah I kind of had a few pep talks with myself <laughs> and I'm standing right here looking at this wreath have you guys seen my oh I love this cowbell wreath oh and by the way oh my gosh hang on let me turn the light on so we can chat look at my look at my table so this is all of what's left of Christmas from my um, last auction and then I got I pulled some stuff out but look, I got another whole shipment. It's all on the website. I love these are awesome and they're $9. And I, they're such a cute little pick. I put one actually in my kitchen right here. I can show you. Oh gosh, I have dishes in the sink. <laughs> right there. I stuck it in my um, greenery. I absolutely love that. So there's that. And then, um, uh, let's see. Well, they're all great. I got plops, you guys. Plops to match the little trees and the um, um, oh, the, the little trees and the um, 
candle rings that I had. These are $12. And then I got some things for spring. I've already sold a couple of these off of the website. They're awesome little spring um, nests and then a spring plop. And then we sold out of these, so I ordered some more of these. So in case you didn't get one of these. And then there's one, that, oh, over here. It's holly. It's like that. So I have small, medium, and large um, balls, I guess you would say, but these, let me show you while well, I got you. Well, oh, it needs fluffed, but it, this is a plop also, but look how big the berries are, and look how pretty those leaves are for crafting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, really good stuff. This is 17, and it needs fluffed out, so it will look better, but it's just a plop, but okay, so underneath this, this was my plan for my cowbell wreath. Okay, so I made this uh, I think I might, I don't remember if I do it in my page or in my group, but I have this old, remember I told you when I showed you this when I first brought it out that I hate this wire showing, but I love this bell. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I have this old tape measure that I found. So I'm going to attach the tape measure up here to the wire and have this old tape measure be the string, like be the holder for my bells. And then that will match like the burlap bow that kept me all neutral. And I think that'll be awesome. And it'll just add, see, it's just gonna add a little more to the wreath. I think that'll be really great. And I kind of was thinking about adding one of those new picks like right here and let the little bells hang down, but that might be too many bells. I don't know, I just love that pick. So anyway, um, you guys, I, <laughs> I, I couldn't be more excited. Maybe it's just the relief that I got one of the trees up. I don't know. Maybe it's just, I'm just really enjoy. Okay, so so this, this month already, we showed you how to do tinsel. We show you how to stain the batting and what a difference, you know, how to make it even fluffier, better, more vintagey. And then we made the feather trees, the actual real feather trees. We made the homespun um, or the vintage uh, cotton spun Santa ornaments, which I can't wait to show you. And then if you remember our Janky to Swanky, we also added in the um, Snow People. That's five videos just this month, and typically I promise three videos each month. So we're way, we're way over our limit, but there's more to come. I'm just, I'm not really good at selling like that, but I'm telling you guys, it is an awesome, awesome group. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I won't say anymore, but you go to TammyLovesVintage.com and you can find it, um, you can find it in my uh, website, uh, right at the top, just click, if you're on your phone, click the three little bars and it'll pop up Tammy's Making, or uh, if you're on your computer, there's a shop, there's a tab for shopping, tab for my blog, and a tab for uh, that group. So anyway, all right, you guys, I'm going to fly. <laughs> I've got lots more I want to get done. I just wanted to share the, it's really dark in here. <laughs> I just wanted to share this um, few things before we get too far ahead of you. And then you're like, what the heck is happening? Um, yeah, she just went wild. But yeah, we've been going wild in the group, but it's been super fun. And um, it's my favorite place to craft. I like crafting over there. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we're like best friends. <laughs> So thank you for watching. It's so nice to see you guys. I'll go through the comments later. I'm meeting Julie later tonight. We're going to do some more um, crafting. It's so fun to have a friend to craft with. And if you don't have a friend to craft with, come on over and craft with me and we can be friends. So I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. I will answer your comments. If you have any questions, um, just let me know. And thank you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, Karen, I'm not sure. Uh, it, you know, a lot of it depends on my husband's schedule and I, I do need to pull some things out. I've got some really beautiful handmade jewelry that I think would make great Christmas gifts for you guys. So I'd like to do a jewelry one. I just got in all of this Christmas decor, so I was hoping I'd get a chance to show you. So I'm glad I got to do that. And, um, yeah, I just, uh, there's just, there's just a lot happening, so I need, of course, we're busy painting. We have a job next week, and then we have, um, then the Monday after Thanksgiving, we get to start the sports bar. They're going to do one section of the sports bar, so I'm super excited about that. I met them, was it yesterday? <laughs> I think I met them yesterday, and we finalized the color for that area, so we're going to start painting that. 
Um, it's kind of a big deal. So they've got some lifts in there for us and stuff that we can, we won't have to build our own scaffolding. So that'll be nice for this old woman. I kind of like the idea of buzzing up on a, on a electronic lift instead of painting. But anyway, so we've been, we're, yeah. So there you go. I see I get carried away. But yes, if you want to come and craft with all of us, you can go to TammyLovesVintage.com. And it's T-A-M-I. It's always the name of this page. If you're ever looking for my website or how to find my group, it's TammyLovesVintage.com. And then you just look for the Tammy's Making link because um, that's the name of my group, Tammy's Making. And um, you just have to come and see what Tammy's making. So I would love for you guys to be with me. You can get in at the $15 rate through the end of the year. And then I think the rates, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm 85% sure I'm going to raise it. So, but I'm only raising it to $20, so it won't be a big, you know, a big thing, but just a little thing. Um, we buy a lot of supplies and um, things like that, and we do we do this big giveaway every month. And so, yeah, I think it's time to raise it and be, you know, be with the big biggie girls that <laughs> have really big groups and nice groups. Um, I need to get up, give myself a little bit more credit for. Um, you know, knowing how to do stuff. So <laughs> there's my pep talk about myself. So I hope you join while you can. Um, and I'm not, I don't think I'm ever going to be one to, I never say never. I'm not going to promise, but I know they all close and then they say, we're opening up. You better get in while you can, or you can't get in. I've not done any of that. And I've always kept my price low all these years. So I don't know that I'm ready to do that. I feel like sometimes somebody might get a little extra and they want to join for a month. I want you to be able to join. So, you know, again, I, you know, there comes the old heart and, you know, we be, we're friends. So you want to add all that you in kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, so, yes, everything does. And I do bring everything over there. I have brought over here to you guys, but it's usually the next year. It's usually a year later. It'll come out on the blog and we'll do it. So, you can find things and you may see things that, you know, because I can't, you know, everyone's doing stuff anyway. I don't have the holy secret to every craft ever, right? Um, it's just our spin on it, our vintage spin on it. And um, uh, there are some things that I've never seen anywhere. Um, but it is kind of a different venue, not venue, I don't know what it is. Kind of a different theme, I guess, being vintage like that. So we really are... Um, yeah, it's TammyLovesVintage.com, and then it's Tammy's Making. I, I'll put, I'll type it in, the, let's see, I can type it in the comments here. Uh, T-A-L-F-V-E-S-V-I-N-T-A-G-E dot C-O-M, and then it's T-A-M-I, make sure you get that. And then you just click the link. It'll it'll get live once I get off of here. And you just click the link and it says Tammy's making. And if you can't find it, just message me. Just send me a private message and I'll send you the link. Um, and then if you do join, if you find it, figure it out without me and you join, make sure you go to Facebook and ask to join the group because I will see your payment come through my email whenever I check my emails. And then it, that tells me to go over if somebody's knocking on my door and I need to let you in the group. And then once you're in the group, you can um, you can just scroll the feed, you know, just like you do here. Or you can go to guides. There's a thing at the top called guides. And I have put every video that I can by month. So you'll know that you want to look like October, November, December for Christmas stuff. You'll want to look at maybe December, January, you know, you just kind of want to keep watching um, your months for the spring or whatever you're looking for. Um, thanks. For, hi, Randy. How are you? There's my sister. <laughs> um, but anyway, you'll want to look, uh, you'll want to look for what you're looking for. The old original videos, you really have to scroll for those because my computer bogs down and it won't let me, it won't let me go past 2020. So all of 2020 and all of, tw a little bit of 2020 and all of 2019, clear back to February, is still in the feed. It is not in the guides. So there is a ton of videos in the feed. If your computer will let you scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, I tried typing in 2019 and I only get two or three that it'll let me, I may, I need a new computer, but I don't want to, I don't want to buy a new computer. I love my computer just like it is. It's just not letting me get everything to guides. So 
most of it, 80% or more is in the guides, but some of that, you know, some of the early stuff was good. So, you know, it's, well, it's all good. And there's a few little things in there that I was like, what am I going to make? You know, that might not be quite up to snuff compared to other things that I'm going to make, but yeah, it's good. And I'm proud. I'm proud of my little group, you guys. So if you're loving what you're seeing when I'm showing you things, um, and just to be inspired and just to have a little friendship with some people that, you know, also love all of that. Um, okay. Oh, you found it. Okay. I'll let you in, Myrna. Absolutely. Um, just ask to join on Facebook. Um, if we're not personal friends, it won't let me invite you. And maybe it will. I just don't know how to do it. But if you ask to join, um, I can let you in. I had trouble. I had a new girl, um, um, Randy, uh, Reed joined what, a couple days ago. I couldn't get her in. I could not get her in. And come to find out, Facebook switches me from Tammy Neff to Tammy Loves Vintage. So sometimes you'll see me comment on somebody else's page and I'm Tammy Neff. And then sometimes I'm Tammy Loves Vintage, which I hate. I want, I, it's, I feel like that's cheesy. Like it's, um, I don't know, like trying to get follow, like a cheater. <laughs> follow me. It's, and I don't mean to do that. I just don't know I'm logged in as that until I hit send. And then it comes up Tammy Loves Vintage. I'm like, oh, crap. Because it, it does it all the time. It switches you. It wants me to be Tammy Loves Vintage. I want to be Tammy Neff on Facebook when I'm searching my friends and stuff. So anyway, um, uh, if I if I sign into my group as me, I can let you in. It what had happened was I signed in and I didn't realize that I was Tammy Loves Vintage, and I, it won't let me do anything in there. I could just look and watch and stuff. So I was totally frozen. I'm like I can't. I could not figure out. Poor lady. I could. I was so upset. I couldn't get her in. But now we know. I figured it out. <laughs> takes me a minute but I figured it out technology right so I figured it all out and I know how to get you in now so if you ask to join I will let you in um just was wondering in your group do you give it oh yeah yeah um not totally before and Kathy mostly because a lot of the things that I use are actually vintage so it's kind of like you need to shop for stuff um but I try to not do anything that you can't find um or maybe get a reproduction of. Um, but usually when I'm doing the project, that's when you get your lists and your supplies because then you know whether you want to do it or not. I'm not organized enough to give you a two week advance. And I also don't say I'm going live on Tuesdays at three o'clock. I don't do that either. I go live when I can. That's why it's important to get the um, my text to text me at 740-273-6693. I'll say that again in a second. Um, because I'll give you, I try to give you a little bit of notice when I know I'm going to go do a craft with you. And I kind of like you to watch it and take it all in. Make sure you want to buy the stuff to do it if you don't have. And then, um, you know, make sure you love it before you're like, oh, she's making something. I'm going to go out and get it. And then I make it and you're like, mm, that's not really, I don't love that one. Um, you haven't wasted any money. So, uh, yeah, but a lot of the things you'll have or, um, I can give you links for or tell you like on Etsy or, you know, wherever we find it, I always tell you all that. So, and then in the guides, I also try and link that stuff over in the guides too. So, um, yeah, just know that, I mean, there's been months where I, one month I did 13 videos. I think it was like last Christmas. Um, and then this month, like I said, I'm up to five. I promised three. And there's been a couple times over the years where I've done two on the last day of the month to get them all in. So, because I either I don't have something awesome enough, um, or you know, because I don't I don't like to make like the same thing over. Once I make it, I don't want to do that again. Like I want something new. I don't want to just keep kind of doing. I want to bring you something completely different. But maybe you know, maybe maybe you want to see me make some more of the cotton spun Santas. Um, so maybe I need to do the same thing as I make it because they're all going to be different or the snow people or whatever we're going to do. Um, or like when we're using this batting that we've stained out. And um, when I say we, I'm talking about my friend, Julie, <laughs> we do a lot of crafting together. Um, uh, but yeah, or like what I do with my tinsel or something. So we may do some repeats here in the future just so that I can do a little bit more videos in there. Cause I am always crafting. Um, I just don't like to go in there unless I have something really awesome. So sometimes, 
yeah, I, an idea hits me and then I don't have time to do it. And so I have been known to do two in the, on the last day of the month to try and get the two in. I usually do one early in the month because I kind of like, oh, I'm going to save that. I'm going to do that next month. And then, you know, I do it and then I'm like crickets. I don't have anything. And then I'm like, oh, those girls are going to think I fell off the earth and I'm always worried about you. But um, so, yeah, I'm working on my group. It's been since 2019, but gosh. I love it over there. So I hope you do too. I hope you join. I hope you love it. If you do decide to sign up at TammyLovesVintage.com, look for the link Tammy's making, and then go to Facebook and ask to join, and I will um, I will let you in when I see your payment go through. It'll just it'll ask you a couple quick. Um, did you go through the payment process and um, something else? Will you be nice? I think something like that. <laughs> Something like that. So, okay, you guys, I'm going to go. I've got, I got stuff. Look, I got a whole tub full of stuff to take over to craft with tonight. I'm meeting Julie and we're going to hang out and make some more stuff. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my tree and I hope to see you in my group because I love hanging out with you. And you know, when I'm live over there, sometimes I might only have three or four people. It's, it's not a very big group. I think there's like 50 of us. So, um, I don't always have a, a big, you know, it could just be you and me crafting. So come be my friend. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.